45 years, that's almost half a century. And in that time, Labour MEPs have been working with our sister parties across Europe to end discrimination, to fight for the poorest regions in Europe, to protect rights at work, and to work for peace and unity across our continent. We have made the EU more democratic and accountable. 20 years ago, this parliament had almost no powers over EU policies. Now, MEP's approval is needed to adopt EU legislation, to ratify international agreements, to appoint the Commission, and much more. This, in turn, has given MEPs the power to shape policies. We may be leaving for a while, but we are proud to have helped build an EU that secures peace in Europe and helps us achieve so much more together than we could possibly do separately. We've been here for 45 years, making crucial contributions every step of the way. We made sure the EU single market has rules to protect workers, consumers, the environment. And we made sure the EU is much more than just a market a social Europe, making law on energy poverty, security, climate change and development, always with people at the centre. It was always about making people's lives better. It was always about that. In the 80s, Labour MEPs led the drive to increase regional funding to support local communities. For many, that support and investment is still there. This has made the EU more relevant to people and helped counter some of the worst impacts of cuts. As Labour MEPs, we worked very hard to put the social agenda front and centre of the group. That meant working very hard on workers' rights, employment rights, but it also meant trying to bring our Labour values to the group on big issues like migration and security, those kind of issues that have been challenges that dominated our lives in the past few years. There is so much more to the EU than just treaties and euros. For the labour movement, the EU is about putting people first. Putting people first meant protecting the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, and tackling climate change. Whether it was the fall of the Berlin Wall, human rights, EU enlargement or the Northern Ireland peace process. This is about people. People first meant working together with our social democratic partners. Labour MEPs worked with our European sister parties with all the passion you would expect. And then in 2016, there was a vote. And that vote felt like everything changed. I think I was completely stunned and shocked. And then that feeling developed into feeling totally devastated. My overriding feelings were about my daughter uh, and my children's future and about what that vote would mean for all the young people and the next generation in my country. But for a lot of people, Brexit is a very personal thing. Um, and my first reaction to the outcome of the referendum was to worry about the future of my son, who was an engineer uh, and who uh, lives and works in uh, Germany. I was... Um very sad for um, all the young people. My family is a Belgian-British family. My husband's Belgian. Um, I have always been pro-European. I'm the granddaughter of a Holocaust survivor who believed fundamentally in the principle of Europe working together to avoid war. Everything we worked so hard to achieve was now at risk. The fight for social justice, for the environment, for peace and progress and fairness. These are shared challenges that still need our shared values. It's not about national dividing lines, but it's about standing up for what we believe in. The challenges that we're going to face in the future will be even greater than those we've faced to date. The changes in the economy will produce even greater inequality left to the market's own devices. 
So working across borders for a just transition and a fair outcome for ordinary people is still absolutely vital. We'll still be fighting for the values that we've been standing together on for the last half a century. We'll still be part of the progressive family and we always will be.